gravel hugger. A hundred foot Oakland March, but there's a lot of snow coming, so they actually shortened it to 80 miles. So 80 miles in March. I think that this is just gonna be an event of weather survival. I'm gonna go stretch my legs and get used to riding in a field again. But not a great day to be getting used to riding with strangers for the first time in a long time, but we're gonna see how it goes. My lens is foggy. Everything in here is foggy. Good morning. It's race day. I clearly have been up for a little bit longer than when I normally say good morning. Um, it's not that I forgot about you. It is less than two hours to race time. It's snowing. Look, it snowed. I can't see out of my windshield because it's snowy. Everything is fine. <laughs> I just used that water to put in here to make coffee. This is not water. I'm gonna see how lemon lime hydration mix coffee goes. Okay, headspace is a problem when you're living in a car. Meow, meow. Oh, so it's farting. Lowering onto a cold porta potty seat. It's like getting into the ice. <laughs> With the delayed start, I didn't anticipate a change in my eating habits, so I guess ride food is my lunch. I've had this sheet since elementary school, keeping the bike a little bit dry, mostly for her pleasure. That's my pleasure. Went for the 40C Ramblers today. One is mounted up on a GRX gravel rim, one on a Dura Ace. It's just because I was too lazy to switch tires, although I realized this one's actually mounted backwards. Guys, I put sealant in though, so that's good. I went for the Ramblers because I knew we were gonna have precip. I don't know, I was a bit worried about like actually compacted snow on the road. Now that I see that it's a bit wetter, probably could have gone away, gotten away with a receptor, at least on the rear, because there's not a ton of climbing. Actually, this is my towel. That's why it's all dirty, because I get wet and muddy, and then I have to wipe my feet off before I get in the car. Miss my little doggy. Yeah, as for clothing, I'm doing winter shoes, just a heavier seven mesh tight. I'm wearing a wool short sleeve base layer with the WTV set and jersey from seven mesh. I'll do one of my many seven mesh rain jackets on top and just a whole plethora of glove selections. I never know what gloves to start out with and what I'll wanna to transfer to. Now that I realize that they have changed the course quite a bit, I definitely went overkill on the cassette. I put my Rimey cassette on with the 40 tooth in the back. I definitely did not need to do that, but it was good practice. I uh, kept, <laughs> I just swapped out that hanger that got bent at Big Sugar and put on a new hanger. So I had to do a full on drivetrain readjustment with the rear mech. Uh, so that was good practice. Although I don't think that high limit screw should be that far out. So when I complain of having mechanical difficulties on course, it me, I did that, it me, but I put sealant in, so. You win some, you lose some. Hi. Hey, how are you? Be entertaining for the vlog, please. Okay, fix. Everything's fine. Uh, the roads are really beautiful. We're gonna say we're gonna leave in 10 seconds. Again, be careful around these first few corners. Jake on a Jake! Yeah! Be careful! Free us! From what? I don't know! Bring back the Major Jake! We need it! The Major Jake! The Super Jake! The Jake the Snake! All the Jake! I got weightless in my ankles! It's very wet! We're in mile like three! Everything is fine! Everything is fine! Everything is fine. First mile, 49 and something. I probably got dropped at mile 12. So then I picked up this group. Now we surviving. She's doing so fast, I can keep up. As I done with my bicycle race. I have no idea how I did. I don't think I did anything worth noting because nobody noted anything when I crossed the finish line, but that's okay. 
yeah, I don't know how he did, but I missed one key move. I saw it happening. My body laughed at me. It was like, girl, it's March. Your, your heart rate's as high as it's been all year. So, uh, it's cool. I'm a closer and I closed. I finished strong and that's all I needed. I can't feel my toes though. The following day. Man, gross gravel racing has clean up like cyclocross racing and I don't like it. I'll show you what it looks like outside. Doggy, get out of my way. I'm trying to show the people. How am I supposed to wash my bike when it's snowing out? Do I just put it in the middle of the road and hope a car runs over it and say, whoops, they need another bike? Kind of seems like the best option right now. This is grapple. It's like hail, but a little bit smaller. We had some of it yesterday in the race. It's very stingy on your face. So you gotta pull your buff up. And uh, if you're asking, cleaning up all this emits some grapple. Worth it? Yeah. I laid a pretty good foundation for the season to come. Hopefully this is not necessarily where I'm going to stay, but it's a launching pad for the rest of the season. If it's where I'm gonna stay, it'll be a season much like last. But I think, as long as I don't fall off this step, I know what work needs to be done and I'm able to do it. Starting with this. 